Hi, my name is Sophie Alcorn, and I'm the founder of Alcorn Immigration Law in Mountain View, California. Last night was a historic general election. We saw Donald Trump being elected to be the 45th president of the United States, and we now will have a Republican Senate and a Republican House of Representatives. I'd like to take a few moments to explore what the consequences might be for immigrants in the United States coming to the United States from all over the world. And you know, especially if you're thinking of coming to Silicon Valley to start a company, what that might mean for you. So we've heard a lot of sound bites during the campaign about Trump's positions on immigrant matters. We've heard that he's going to build a wall between here and Mexico. Um, we've heard many anti-Muslim things. We've heard uh, removing the two million criminal illegal immigrants who are currently in the country. Um, and we've also heard that he will cancel every unconstitutional executive action memorandum and order from President Obama. So that presumably includes the DACA program, which allows work permits to um, young undocumented people. How much of that can actually happen? Well, it'll be interesting to see this unfold. Yes, there is a Republican majority in Congress. However, we still have a constitution. We still have checks and balances. Trump can't go in and uh, you know just start building the wall. He'll need funding. He'll need appropriations acts from Congress. Um, if he wants to change something that's part of the Immigration and Nationality Act, he'll need an act of Congress to do so, a new immigration law um, that he would have to get votes and consensus on in the House and the Senate. Um, one interesting question that I've been talking a lot about is this whole notion of a startup visa with the international entrepreneur rule. and. That is currently in the regulatory process. We're waiting to see if President Obama will enact that and, excuse me, not enact it because it's not an act of Congress, um, but whether he'll sign that regulation into, a, in, into effect as an executive action. So Trump has said that he will undo any executive actions that Obama does, so we'll have to see. This could mean that the startup visa the international entrepreneur role won't be happening, or maybe the current administration will try to get it through anyway. And the other question is, now we have a lame duck Congress, maybe they'll try to get some consensus and pass some laws as well um, before January 20th with the inauguration. So those things need to be seen. In terms of coming to Silicon Valley and whether it's still a good idea to build a company here, Yes, I think it is. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people about venture capital and um, angel investors and what the climate will be like for business. And although the Bay Area is a very socially progressive and liberal place, uh, there does seem to be a sigh of relief among some in the community that at least from a financial and business perspective, everything will continue to go on as usual because Trump comes from a business background and that is one of his priorities. So, you know, if you thought before the election that it would be a good idea for you to come to Silicon Valley because of the um, amazing concentration of human capital here, it's probably still a good idea to do that. So, um, you know, in terms of, of other effects on immigration, we'll have to see. Um, there could well be comprehensive immigration reform, which people have been pushing for for years. It will definitely not be the same as comprehensive immigration reform that would happen under a democratically controlled uh, government with the Democratic Party. Um, we'll have to watch the H-1B numbers. There are some Republicans who want the H-1B visa to go away entirely. There are some who want the number of H-1Bs to increase. So that's something that we'll just have to watch 
um, how it plays out. Additionally, um, none of this is going to happen overnight. It takes money, it takes time, it takes negotiation, so we will just have to see. But we have a democracy, we have a federal government, we have a constitution, we have checks and balances, so there will be due process, people are still entitled to their constitutional rights, and we as attorneys will make sure that we protect immigrants and defend the rights of all immigrants to live peacefully and legally in the United States because we know how important it is um, for you as, as an immigrant or for anybody to be able to live the life you've dreamed about and um, take care of your family and your children and allow them and you to live your dreams. So that's what we stand for at Alcorn Immigration Law and we look forward to taking on the next challenges if, if that's what they turn out to be and also to all of the victories that lie ahead for immigrants. Thank you very much.